I am back, y'all. I did tell you all I was going to show you guys how this stamp right here is stamped out. As you can already see from the beginning when it started, this is the stamp. And this little kitty cats, um, little Christmas kitty cats with the little hats on and the little mistletoe on their heads um, in shape of a Christmas tree. And this is it, and it's stamped out great. Of course, I use red ink. But look at it. It's stamped out really, really nice, y'all. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Brother Scan and Cut. Since this did not come with a die, I am going to um, scan it with my Brother Scan and Cut. And I'm going to um, get it to cut it out. But other than that, this turned out awesome, you guys. Look at that. It's so cute. And I probably will color this in. And I'm thinking about probably using this for like a card front or something. And I'll probably put the little Merry Christmas sign right here under it. And boom, I pretty much have my card already. I just need to color this in. I'm not going to leave it plain like this, but I'm going to color the little kitty cats in. And I'll probably use this as my card front. Boom. But I'll get the brother scan and cut to um, cut this out. Because I don't have a die. And like I said, I don't know who all are familiar with the brother scan and cut. But it's awesome. I do own the Cricut also. or I own the uh, Cricut Air too. I own the, uh, the Cricut Maker. I also own the Cricut Joy. And I own the Brother Scan and Cut. And I got the manual crank cutting machines also. I have one of them. It's brand new. I've never been used. Um, and that is, uh, no, it's the gold metallic one. Oh, I think it's by Crafters Companion. It's just sitting on the shelf. Just metallic gold pretty. Just looking pretty. Sitting on the shelf collecting dust. I have to go and, you know, dust it off every now and then. And I don't even hardly use that. Then I got the Anna Griffin one. The Empress. I have that one. I've used that a few times. But not enough. I, I need to start using my stuff, you guys. Because I barely use any of my stuff. And y'all know what we pay for this stuff. It's, it's a lot of money. So I need to get some use out of it. And my Cricut Air, too, is just sitting on the bottom of one of my shelves. And I just got uh, stuff just right there stacked on it, you know. I'm not I'm not even using it. I've been trying to give it to my son and trying to get him to um, start doing some crafty stuff. Like, I know a lot of dudes that mess with this stuff. And this money to be made in it. Like, he's in the seventh grade. And I know those kids love... Um, like decals and stuff for like their helmets, the football team, like t-shirts, um, stickers, decals for like their four wheelers, that kind of stuff. And I told him, I said, you know, you could really start a little thing at school, you know, where you can cut their dyes out and stuff for them, decals or whatever they want, do t-shirts, whatever guys like that kind of stuff. Um, you know, but I think his daddy messed with him because he kind of told him that the craft and stuff was kind of girly. And he didn't want him messing with that kind of stuff or whatever. But I told him the best crafters are men. I see some men that can go to town on a sewing machine. I mean, they can work that sewing machine better than I can. And I'm a female. But you do what you got to do to survive. And some of them have, have learned to sew because they had to make their own clothes. Maybe they couldn't afford it for whatever reason. I don't know. But some of the men can work them um, sewing machines, honey. They can crochet. They can do stuff just like we can. And just like us women can do stuff that the men can do. You know what I'm saying? So, don't try to um, tap nobody out because everybody can do basically what anybody can do. Just put your mind to it. But anyway, enough talking. I just wanted to show you guys how that's stamped out with this stamp right here. And this is how it looks and i'm gonna color it in and as always be blessed and y'all these are the words for christmas peace joy noel be blessed you guys thanks for watching